Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you what I eat in a day being a vegetarian. I always start my day with a freshly brewed cup of coffee and I cannot do without this. So this is pretty much my breakfast. I do not eat anything because uh, I'm kind of used to skipping breakfast and I eat two meals in a day, you'll see later. But this is pretty much what I uh, start my day with. For my lunch, I decided to keep it simple which is tomato garlic rasam, rice and potato stir fry. So to start off, I'm going to be blanching 3-4 to four tomatoes in hot water. Keep in mind, I'm making this for 2 so if you're preparing for 1, just reduce the quantity. While my tomatoes were cooking, I started prepping my rice and um, my potatoes as well. So uh, you can cut the potatoes into small dices or squares or however you prefer it. You can also make it like french fries and I like mine pretty spicy so I'm gonna be using chilies and chili powder as well. Uh, once you're done with your prep you can start cooking your potatoes uh, while your tomatoes are blanching. So to start off the potatoes, you'll have to uh, take a pan and add a spoon of oil. I think I added a little too much, uh, but I did remove it in the end. Uh, and then add your mustard seeds, your asafoetida or hing and dal. Uh, this is again optional. I like some crunchy element in my stir fry. That's the reason I added dal. And then add chilies and potatoes. You don't have to wait for the dal or the chilies to cook because this is a stir fry. It's gonna cook together. Once the potatoes are done, you can add your spices. I add cumin powder, um, chili powder, kasuri methi, salt and that's it. Um, mix it all together and you're pretty much done. So this is my South Indian version of stir fry and it's really yummy, you gotta try. Once the tomatoes are half done, you can uh, rinse it in cold water and peel the skin and blend it in a mixer. In a mortar and pestle, take few cloves of garlic, peppercorns, coriander and jeera. I didn't have jeera that day so I used uh, cumin powder. You can use cumin powder as well, uh, it's the same thing. And then just crush it all together to make it a paste. For the tatka, you can always use ghee but if you're a vegan or if you're on a plant-based diet, you can definitely use oil. It tastes the same but it tastes better with ghee. If you have vegan butter, definitely use that add mustard seeds and chilies and coriander and the masala and just fry it a little bit till the raw smell is gone add your tomato puree to the mixture and bring it to a boil add water depending on the consistency of the puree itself and you're pretty much done and that's what i eat for lunch it's usually rice rasam and any vegetable stir fry today i had potatoes so you can try the same technique with any other vegetable and it tastes delicious. You definitely gotta give it a try. Everyone's body is different and so is your supplement requirement. Sub India has an amazing website that has a brilliant questionnaire and a consultant who will help you with your uh, required supplements. They track your sleeping pattern, your eating pattern, your exercise pattern and under how much stress you are and what you're actually looking for if you're looking to reduce your stress or improve your sleeping pattern or uh, boost your immunity so depending on that they'll recommend these supplements the best part was they also asked about my allergies and my reactions and then this was custom made for me i'm sorted for this month so if you are looking out for supplements then definitely give this website a try around four or five i like to make my second cup of coffee and i've been craving cold coffee a lot these days so i was gonna make a cup of cold coffee for myself Here's how I like to do it. In a mason jar, take few ice cubes and then whisk your coffee before you add it in. This gives that creamy frothy texture. And today I was using this soy milk in chocolate flavor. This actually enhanced it so much. It tasted so much better and so good. You should definitely try using this uh, soy milk. So my next meal is my dinner. And like I said before, I eat only two meals a day. Um, for today I was going to use the leftover rice I had from lunch and I wanted to make something else as well. So I decided to make these cabbage rolls. While that was cooking I decided to start on my stir fry rice and for my protein source I was going to use tofu. 
if you don't like tofu you can always uh, use paneer but uh, if you are someone who likes tofu then definitely give it a try and remember you have to boil it in hot water before using it cut it into small bite sized pieces and then also chop your garlic onions or capsicum or any other leftover vegetable that you have and chilies in a pan add a spoon of oil and then add all your veggies and garlic and tofu and stir fry on low or medium heat until they turn brown once they cooked halfway through you can add a spoon of uh, soy sauce vinegar and uh, chili sauce remember i like my food really spicy that's the reason i add chilies and chili sauce but if you're not uh, tolerant towards chili or spice please don't add both just add either one and then i add my leftover rice and then mix it all together i do not add salt because i already added soy sauce which contains salt so you don't have to add both and that's it you're pretty much done for my cabbage roll filling i decided to use onions carrot cabbage capsicum and chilies uh, like you can see i have finely chopped them take a pan and a spoon of oil and stir fry all these veggies until they are halfway done and then add your seasoning uh, remember this doesn't have to be completely cooked because it goes into the cabbage roll and be cooked again so it can be done halfway through once the cabbage looks done take it off heat and uh, let it cool down for a while and then lay it flat on a plate and then take your filling and uh, place it in the center like so or uh, make sure that you're closing the ends before you roll I like steaming these like momos and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes and it tastes delicious. I also like to stir fry which I'll be showing you. Um so after you're done steaming it just put it on a pan for a minute and it forms that a uh, nice brown edge and crust and that crunchy bit tastes so good. For my dipping sauce, I wanted to use this peri peri paste and the chili sauce, a spoon of soy sauce and vinegar, and that's it. All you have to do is mix it really well, and you have your dipping sauce ready. So that's my dinner: tofu stir fry rice and cabbage rolls filled with veggies and my dipping sauce. So this is not what I eat every single day it differs from day to day but since I had leftover rice from afternoon I decided to make this stir fry rice so that's it for this video i hope you all liked it until next time bye bye